I'm back. Maybe. Potentially. I don't really know. I'm sorry I left you guys for around two months, I think, since the last upload with the Arsenal save. I will bring that back to you. We'll give you an update in this episode. A lot has been going on in my life outside of YouTube. Obviously, this isn't a full-time job for me. Maybe something in the future. Who knows? But... There's been a lot going on. Let's update you. I just wanted to come say hi. How you doing? I've missed you. I hope you've missed me. I hope you've missed the series. There's been so many comments on past videos of this Arsenal say videos that I uploaded months ago. And to have that level of engagement with you guys has been fantastic. Thank you. We've we've grown new subscribers in the amount of time that I've not uploaded as well. Maybe I've been doing something wrong. Maybe I've been doing a lot right. Who knows? Let's chat. We'll give you a quick update. We'll show you what I've done with the Arsenal team. And fingers crossed we can get back to making some consistent content. But I just wanted to say, first of all, thank you for still watching the videos. Thank you for subscribing to the channel if you are new. Yeah, a, a lot has changed recently for me. Obviously, the first bit um, and mainly the biggest bit of news that I wanted to share with you guys is that I am now a dad. My beautiful partner has given birth to a wonderful little baby girl. Her name is Maya. And honestly, it's been such a relief. I can tell you from the bottom of my heart, this pregnancy has been complicated. It's been stressful. It's been unhappy at times, but everything was made worth it once i saw maya's little face she knew that she had been troublesome herself this whole sort of pregnancy and birth especially she was overdue so it's been a very 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 draining couple of months maya was only born this week as of releasing video last week sorry she's maybe only about four days old five days old at the time of release of this video all of my energy and all of my focus has been on my partner has been on the baby all throughout the pregnancy obviously i'm not uploaded to the channel now for about two three months which again i'm so sorry for but with everything going on i had to make sure that my focus was there but now that maya is here and i've got some time off work hopefully we'll be able to pump out some consistent videos for you not only football manager but we'll discuss that a little bit later on in the video but yeah that's my daughter and now that she's here we can now start focusing on other stuff that can maybe be a little bit less stressful than the pregnancy was something that wasn't really stressful is this arsenal team and we still managed to have a very very good summer to give you a quick overview of what has happened so far in the series we're now into season four of this arsenal save 2024-25 season we are the two-time reigning and defending premier league champions taking the total of premier league wins for arsenal up to 15 in total one in 2023 and 2024 we've still missed the elusive champions league trophy we've not managed to secure that one yet still that one runner-up spot in 2006 as an arsenal fan heartbreak i don't really want to talk about that one too much anymore we've also not been able to win the carabao cup or the fa cup as part of this save and if you can remember dating back to the start of this save the main aim for me was to win absolutely everything with arsenal so so far in three seasons three full seasons before this one we're not really doing a very good job of it still need an fa cup still need a carabao cup we've been runners up in the carabao cup once back in 2022 in the fa cup as well runners up in 2022 this year is all about the domestic trophies. We've exerted our dominance, I would say, last two seasons in the Premier League, even though Liverpool have a stacked squad. Go back through the playlist, have a look at their squad. Haaland, Mbappe, Salah, insane. We've made some improvements of our own. Obviously, now we are into season four. We need depth, we need quality, we need goals. Let me show you some of the signings that we've made this summer. In terms of the players that we've brought in for this season, 
We've gone with a wonder kid, Angelo from Santos. I'm sure football manager fans are fully aware of who this is. 12 million, he was a, a cheap and available opportunity, but we have loaned him back to Santos for the rest of the season so that we can see how he develops. Our first big money signing of the summer then, Fikayo Tomori has come in from AC Milan and it is a pretty huge fee at 68 million pounds. He's already played his first game for us believe he kept a clean sheet and was man of the match in that game as well we brought him in from milan brought him back to the premier league i think with the champions league on the horizon we need two top quality players in every position and tomori solves that on that left center back position him and gabriel saliba and ben white on the right hand side our center back core should now be sorted for the next five to six years at least talking of quality in depth options we have brought in victor Osimen for a pretty decent fee i would say 50 million pounds we need two quality players per position and if you remember from last season we had lautaro martinez and dominic calvert lewis up front as our main strikers we've got Gabriel Martinelli as well and he has developed so fantastically we don't want to stop that whatsoever but we needed another more target man forward if Dominic Calvert-Lewin is out of form injured not really playing well and I think Victor Osimhen fits that role quite nicely he might be 37 years old he might not be able to run anymore but he was a free transfer from PSG and listen listen I may never see Lionel Messi play for Arsenal again in my lifetime, but, but I had to make it happen on Football Manager and he's come in. He'll hopefully be able to play a multitude of positions. We know what Messi is. We know who Messi is. Even if he's only here for a year, I don't really mind. I need the Champions League and who better than one of the greatest of all time. And our final signing of the summer is a huge, huge fee for 22-year-old Ryan Gravenberch. We have signed him from Ajax. I think we agreed to pay about 100 million for him once you add in all the bonuses. Oh no, potential of 115. It was 100 million straight up. But we needed quality in the midfield. In that sort of deep line position, I'll show you the tactics in a moment. He is going to be our huge playmaker for the future we sold Sambi Lukonga he was our big summer outgoing this year uh, we sold him to Valencia for 45 million so we were able to splash the cash a little bit and again all focus right now for us is on the Champions League and we need this young core group of players to be able to carry us to that and we need to be able to rest and rotate accordingly where possible but when you look at the depth in quality that we've got we've got Aaron Ramsdale who's our main goalkeeper Etienne Green comes in for cup game Games. that's not really too much of a concern there but at left back we've got Kieran Tierney who's our main left back Tomori can play there Saka can play there James Justin who we signed last summer he can play there at center back we've got Gabriel Tomori Ben White Saliba and Tomiyasu who can all play fantastically at centre back when you look at some of the options in midfield we've obviously got Erdegaard we've got Gravenberch we've got Messi Sabozlai and Mil Smith Rowe we've still got Nkunku as well a number of quality midfield options the one that we may not have long term is Thomas Partey he is requested to leave obviously with Gravenberch coming in and with Nkunku still here able to play in that sort of deep midfield position we are potentially looking to cash in on Thomas Partey if the transfer window allows us to yeah, attacking midfield we've got Lautaro who can play as the number 10 we've got obviously Erdegaard we've got Messi he's fantastic there on the right hand side we've got Messi Saka we've got Kingsley Coman still who can play on that right hand side as an attacking mid and be a threat we've got so many options Options. and then obviously up front we've now got Osimhen, Calvert-Lewin fantastic options fantastic depth fantastic quality it's on me to give everyone the minutes it's on me to give everyone the game time let's go all out now this season I want to go all or nothing obviously it's nearly the end of the FM22 cycle if it's not at the end already we need to win the Champions League I want to win the Champions League otherwise I will not be happy Arsenal haven't won it in our history before and as an Arsenal fan it burns me to the soul. If we've played our first game, we won our first game. We're second in the league at the minute. Uh, who was that against? Let's take a look at our schedules. It was a 2-0 victory over Newcastle. Dominic Calvert-Lewin and Lautaro Martinez with the goals. But the way that I'm going to do this series now moving forward is more of like an overview for you at key periods rather than specific 
games. Although what I will do next episode of this one will be the Chelsea away fixture. Just so that I can bring you some gameplay, show you the tactics, show you how the team are looking. And like I said, I'll be now back to hopefully upload weekly content on Football Manager and with the release of F1 2022, we'll be uploading online lobbies with me playing that game on the PS5 as well as hopefully a My Team Career Mode. So look out for that if you are a Formula One fan and also look out for the future. F1 Manager 22 is coming out and there will be a Let's Play series on the channel as well. But I just want to say once again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all the old subscribers. Anyone that's still enjoying and vibing and, and watching the content, I genuinely appreciate you. And I just want to say thank you as well for your patience. Obviously, I'm a dad now. That took priority here. But now let's make a real push at bringing some content that you guys can enjoy in our spare time. Probably have to be a little bit more quiet when she's asleep. But we'll deal with that at the time. Take care, stay safe, welcome into Wayne's World once again, and I'll see you for the next video.